8, verse 22. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. Go ahead. I will also break in pieces with thee the, the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon, to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight. See and that? All the things they done to Israel while the Most High was looking. And let me tell you, they do things, you, let me tell you, there's a lot of things we can't even imagine mm -hmm. that they have done and continue to do against us, with us in their mind, knowing that we're Israel. Read. Uh, verse 25. Behold, I am against the old destroying mountain. I am against the old destroying mountain. Saith the Mosai Ahaya, which destroyeth the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. Verse 26. Okay, all right. Listen, do, do I got to interpret? Maybe that's a doctrine too. Maybe that's something we're making up. The Most High have spoken it. Read. Verse 26. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner nor a stone for foundations. But thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Mosai Ahiah. I need you to look up that word desolate for me real quick. For anyone who claimed that we're, that, that we're teaching a doctrine to prove to you this is not speaking of ancient Babylon. Give me that word desolate in the Hebrew, please. To show you this is prophetic for the future Babylon. I said I would mark every time the scripture would speak in future tense. Give me the definition, lawyer. You got it in the strong there? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Let me get the definition of, of uh, desolate there. Uh, the definition, shamma. It says devastation, figuratively astonishment, lay most desolation, waste. Lay waste. You know what that means? No habitation. No one inhabiting the land. How do we know this is not speaking of ancient Babylon here in Jeremiah? Because Iraq is part of ancient Babylon. And they had a king, Saddam Hussein, from the remnant of people who was living there since ancient Babylon. There was never a time where Iraq in that area had no people. So that didn't happen in the past. Babylon or ancient Iraq was never laid desolate where no man or woman lived there. That's, that proved this is speaking of this Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. Finish reading. Uh, verse 27. Go ahead. Set ye up a standard in the land. Set ye up a standard in the land. Blow the trumpet among the nations. Go ahead. Prepare the nations against her. Prepare the nations against her. So the Most High of the heavenly angels preparing the nations for this war to come that they're not telling you about while you look at the Boston Marathon. Read. Call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat. Go ahead. Mene and Ashkenaz appoint a captain against her. Appoint a captain against her. And this is speaking of the original Japhetic people, including China. See, the Jewish people today, they're not Ashkenazi. They went into the land and took on the name Ashkenazi, but they're not from the children of Japheth. This is speaking of the Chinese people. This is speaking of the Japhetic people. This is speaking of uh, uh, who's leading them? Iran is going to lead this charge. They're brothers. Read. Cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. Verse 28. Prepare against her nations with the kings of the Medes. With the who? With the kings of the Medes. There you go. Who's that? 
Iran. Stop looking at Russia. Even all these Christian uh, uh, so-called prophetic preachers be trying to say in Russia going to do this in Russia. Oh, watch out, Rexella, as Russia come do this and tell you in Isaiah 15 and all that mess he be talking. You understand? Ignore Russia. Russia have nothing to do with this prophecy. Russia is them. Okay? That's why you're looking in America today seeing Russian TV. They was always together. While they were claiming that Russia was against them and Rocky was fighting the Russian, you had Russia and America building the space station mirror together. Okay? Who you need to look at? Iran. According to the Bible. Gog and Magog have nothing to do with Russia. Why? Because they weren't the, the original people of the inhabitants of Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog, the original Japhetic people, were moved out of that area during the times after Alexander the Greek. And, and Europeans or Edomites took over that land. So when it says Gog and Magog, it's not speaking of the imposters that are living in Gog and Magog. It's speaking of the original people. Read on. Uh, this is the, the end of verse 28. The captains thereof and all their rulers thereof and all the land of his dominion. Verse 29. And the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of the Most High Ahiah shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. Hold up. Without what? Without inhabitant. Without what? Without an inhabitant. Are people inhabiting Iraq and the parts of Babylon now? Yes. To prove to you this scripture have never happened. That this is speaking of a future prophecy. You see that? It's not speaking of ancient Babylon. This is future prophecy. Why? Because there's people still living in Iraq. Which is Babylon. The original Babylon. See that? Read on. Verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. They, their might have failed. Their might have failed. Why? The military have been spread throughout the four corners of the earth now. There's no one to, to, to plead or, or fight Babylon's cause. And they're still creating a new war they know they can't defend against. Read. They have burned her dwelling place. Uh, uh, they have be they became as women. They have burned their her dwelling places. And who does it say have became as women? It's speaking of the men of war. They have become as women. Why? America is the only military you see compared to the rest of the world. You think in Iran they got a don't ask, don't tell program? Those are men ready for battle. Not no men desiring other men and all that madness. They're celebrating with, with, with military men of the United States are walking down in, in, in a parade holding a flag with a leather thong on. That's why the Most High tell them they're going to be like women there. All types of mess, leather on them and, and all, nipples, all types of stuff hanging out. And it's like, what's going on here? They have been made like women, their own military, like women. Totally disgusted. So now the military have been broken. They have even given the military in the United States, in the Western world, they give them medication that actually... Uh, uh, lowers their desires and all that for women. Turning people, t turning people in, in, into sodomites. So the Most High says he had made them like women now. So there's no defense. Read. They became as women. They became as women. They have burnt her dwelling places. They have burnt her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. Her bars are broken. So this is what they're really preparing the citizens for. An all-out war. Read. Verse 31. 
One post shall run to meet another, and one messenger to meet another, to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken to one end, and that the passages are stopped, and the reeds they have burnt with fire. And the men of war are affrighted, for thus saith the Most High, Ahiah of hosts, the power of Israel. The daughter of Babylon is the, like a... The who? The daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. This is how you know we're speaking of the daughter of Babylon. So it's not speaking of ancient Babylon. Now it's transitioned right into the daughter now. To let you know who it was speaking about. This was prophetic. Read. It is time to thresh her, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Go ahead. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, have devoured me. He have crushed me. He have made me an empty vessel. He have swallowed me up like a dragon. He hath filled his belly with my delicates. And Nebuchadnezzar represents what? The spirit of the king of Babylon. Who would be the spirit of the king of Babylon now? Your modern day or whom you would call your president. Why? They tell you in scriptures that Nebuchadnezzar was like an idol. Where it talks about the, the body of a lion and the head of a man. And the face of a man, which was Nebuchadnezzar. He was like an idol. Now look at how they uphold the president. You would think Christ returned back already. Like an idol. Read. Verse 35. The violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. Shall the inhabitant of Zion say. And my blood upon the inhabitants of Chaldea. Shall Jerusalem say. Go ahead. Therefore thus saith the Most High Ahiah, Behold, I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee, and I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. Go ahead. And Babylon shall become heaps as a, a dwelling place for dragons and astonishment and in hissing without inhabitant. Without what? Without an inhabitant. Without an inhabitant. To show you this wasn't talking about the time of Nebuchadnezzar. Because people still live in Iraq after Nebuchadnezzar. See that? Read. Verse 38. They shall roar together like lions. They shall yell as lions whelps. In their heat I will make their feast. And I will make them drunken. That they may rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake. Go says ahead. The Most High Ahaya. Verse 40. I will break them down like lambs to the slaughter like rams with he goats. How is Shashak taken? And how is the praise of the whole earth surprised? How is Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? How have Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? That means the whole world will see, will witness this destruction. And at least directly to Revelations 18, when all the nations and all the kings of the earth are crying and bewailing her because they can no more celebrate her glory. They can no more hear her great music. Or we'll go over there and get rich off of her and go build and then bring the money back to their country. It's gonna it's gonna be over. Read verse 42. The sea is come up upon Babylon. What's coming up upon Babylon? The sea is come up upon Babylon. And that's a direct result of the nuclear hit. Tsunami. Read. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. She is covered with what? With the multitude of the waves thereof. She's covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. And it's coming from what? Hold it and get Revelation 16 and 19. Start at 18. Revelation chapter 16, verse 18. Go ahead. Then go right back, please, all right? Mm -hmm. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as, was, such as was not since men were upon the earth. Go ahead. So mighty an earthquake and so great, and great the city was divided, and the great city was divided into three parts. Into what? Into three parts. Go ahead. And the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before the Most High. And great what? And great Babylon came in remembrance before the Most High. How could it be speaking of future tense?